Hello and welcome to this new video by Off to Office. This is a very important topic that we are going to take up today. So we have here before us list A and list B. And I want to extract all those data from list A which are not present in list B. So watch the video till the end to learn this very beautiful method. For the sake of convenience, I have drawn a flowchart indicating the major steps. So as indicated as first step in the flowchart, our first aim will be here to check for those records which are available in list B but not in list A. So we try to test this with equality sign. I will have to do a comparison of this camel minge with the seven items of list B. Therefore, instead of using equality sign for comparison, we will be using match function here. And what advantage we are going to get with it? It will look in all the records. I mean, this camel minge will look into all these records, all these seven records, but will return one single value, either a number or an error. So let's begin. Match. Look a value is this B2 and my lookup array is this I will lock it the exact match so it's returning me one value I will drag it down I will check for every record here so these numbers actually indicates the presence of these records so I will wrap it with is number or is na actually we are looking for those data in list a which are not present in list b so i will be checking for is na which means is it a not available condition if it is so it will be returning me a true or else false so camel minch was present in this list b and so I don't want to pick it. I'm returning a false here. Now I have to convert this true false to actual positions. So if I perform any mathematical operation, like if I add zero to it, this true false will get converted to zero and one. So what I will do here is I will use a sum function here. Why sum function? Because if we enter any text argument into it, it will ignore it and still return me the sum. So it's returning me zero. So is this value to be picked? No. But when I drag it down, this gives me one. So this Baban Kale is not present in this list B. Therefore, I will pick this number as our positions. When I further drag it down, this adds zero to it. When I further drag it down, what does it say? One plus D3 d3 that is this one plus this false or true so this way now the disadvantage that we used to have with index or vlookup that it is not able to tap the multiple records that is it always return with the first occurrence of the records but that disadvantage is turning into a advantage here as when I apply index match here or VLOOKUP here, it will only pick one as Baban Kale, then this two, Rajanna, this three, and this, it will ignore these three. It will only pick the first four actually. So now that I have tapped these numbers, my intention was to tap the positions of the records in list A when that is not found in list B. So this is at one, two, three and so on now I will just pick it with index function index my array will be this to this f4 and my row number will be what I'm looking for one in this helper column which I find it at second position then I will be looking for two in this helper column like one two three four which i am finding at fourth position so i am looking for one two three in this helper column so i will use match function here and look a value one two three so i will 
use rows in lieu of that so this is f2 as I am setting on f2 I need to write it f2 I am looking for f2 this is my lookup value and my lookup array is this helper column it's going to be exact match so this returns me my row number which is I was looking for one which I found it at second place and my column number will be this is the first column press enter Now to take care of this error, we will use if error function and if it is an error, return me an empty string, close it. So this was my first method with the help of a helper column. Now in the second method, I won't be using a helper column. So I will again start with match function that is, is any match. So, so this time I am looking for camel minge in list B. So, how many values is it going to return me? Match function, it will return me only one value. So, instead of matching just b2 i will be matching these all 11 or 10 numbers so i will put an array instead of this and i will lock this as well so now it returns me an array of numbers 2 3 4 7 now when i wrapped it inside an is any function it's returning me false true false true like this so camel means did i want it no because camel means is available here so it's returning me false then comes baban kale this is true because this is not present in my list so i want to tap these locations how will i do that i will press first of all control z and i will house this expression inside a function and this true false is going to be my logical test so when this logical test is found to be true what i expect excel to return if it is a false then it will do nothing but if it is a true which is on the second position i want it to return two then true at the fourth position then fifth position like this so what i will do i will generate a sequence of numbers from 1 to 11 how we can do that we have been doing in our previous videos as well this is very simple row function I will create a reference like this lock it then subtract its position and plus 1 see so it's returning me 1 to 11 this is what we wanted so I'm saying if it is found to be true, return me the corresponding value. So what is it returning to me? False, no issues, but when found to be true, it's returning me the position. This is what I wanted. Control Z. But now that I have found the position, I want this 2 to the first place, this 4 to the second place, this 5 to the third place like this. So how we can do that? We can segregate those positions at one place with the help of small function so i will use small functions to find out the first smallest then the second smallest and third smallest like this so i'm going to use small function here small this is going to be my array and my k will be one two three and so on rows i'm setting on z2 
from Z2 to Z2 it's written to me 2 2 means 1 2 so this is what we want it and I'm pressing Ctrl Z then Ctrl Shift enter as it is an array operation drag it down all positions are been returned so what I need to do now I will spill the data with index function as we have been doing so index my array will be this one row number will be 2 and column number will be nothing so I need to enter control shift enter and then I will copy it down so the next step and the last step is to just to get rid of this error which is if if error if it is an error then return me an empty string and don't forget to press control shift enter we did this with index small so now I will show you the same thing with index aggregate function now aggregate is not a kind of function which is going to perform a something different or something new it's just the same function see same function but under the like subtotal this is so many sub functions here and it can ignore or it ignores actually see this ignores many things ignores hidden rows ignores error values so this is going to be exploited by us so what I am going to do I am going to create a sequence of positions like 1 to 11 like had it like this okay and I am going to divide it with true false true false like this so when I divide 1 by true it will return me 1 but when I divide 2 by a false it will return me a division error 3 by true it will return me true so I'm going to exploit or I'm going to work like this only so my first so my first step is going to be to generate 1 to 11 which we are very adept at doing like we use row function so f4 lock it so see I just generated 1 to 11 I will divide it by true false and how I'm going to get true false I'm going to true false with my this logical test with is na and match so is na match this and I'm going to search the same process the same thing so did it return me true false yep this has returned me true false and now I will put it inside a bracket to avoid any confusion so as a whole in totality this is returning me division error then the positions then like this so as I told you the aggregate function is smart enough to handle this kind, this kind of divisional error and also we don't need to press control shift enter with aggregate so I'm trying to now do the same thing I'm trying to segregate these numbers to the first second third position so I will use small definitely but that small which is inside aggregate so I'm going to use small and I want to ignore error values and my array my array will be this one division error and two fourths and out of this I want to pick the first one again the same thing row function rows function actually and h2 we are sitting on h2 so I will type h2 press f4 and then h2 to h2 this won't be locked and let's check what we have obtained so this is returning me 2 which is what I want so for timing press ctrl z 
and we can easily press enter here so when I drag it down we get 2459 now just the last process is to in the end spill the data this data with the help of these positions and how we can do that index we have been using it F4 my row number is 2 right and my column number is nothing again if it is an error if it is an error I want it to return an empty string now I just drag it down so that's all in this video I hope you liked it and yes it's tough to uh, get hang of this array functions so I would advise you to go twice through this video thank you for watching